स्टैंडर्ड एट साइंस चैप्टर नंबर फोर पार्ट टू मटेरियल्स मेटल एंड नॉन मेटल रिएक्शन विथ वॉटर लेट एस सी हाउ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल रिएक्ट विथ वॉटर एक्टिविटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड बाय टीचर ड्यूरिंग डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन स्पेशल केयर शुड बी टेकन दैट द साइज ऑफ द सोडियम मेटल पीस इज रफली द साइज ऑफ विथ ग्रे इट शुड बी हेल्ड विथ अ पेर ऑफ टॉन्ग टेक अ टू फिफ्टी एम एल बीकर ग्लास टबलर फिल हाफ ऑफ इट विथ वॉटर नाउ केयरफुली कट अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ सोडियम मेटल ड्राई इट यूजिंग फिल्टर पेपर एंड रेप इट इन अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ कॉटन नाउ सोडियम इज हाईली रिएक्टिव मेटल एट जेवी हवा में खुली मूको ने तरह सड़गी जाए इमीजिएटली दिवाली फायर क्रेकर्स फटाकड़ा बदा आ सोडियम ना यूज कर बने राइट सोडियम होस्फरस हो सल्फर होटेशियम हो चार वस्तु मेन कम्पोनेंट होने आ बदा फायर क्रेकर तैयार थे ड्राइट यूजिंग फिल्टर पेपर एंड रेप इट इन स्मोल पीस ऑफ कॉटन पुट द सोडियम पीस रेप इन कॉटन इन टू बीकर ऑब्जर्व केरफुली वेन रिएक्शन स्टॉप टच द बीकर वॉट डू यू फील हेज द बीकर बिकम हॉट टेज द सोल्यूशन विथ रेड एंड ब्लू लिटमस पेपर इज द सोल्यूशन एसिडिक और बेजिक लेट्स चेक इट एक्टिविटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव Now see Here we will perform an activity to understand the reaction between zinc granules and dilute sulfuric acid mm. metal and dilute sulfuric activity, acid we need zinc granules dilute sulfuric acid and balloons Take a small amount of dilute sulfuric acid in a conical flask add some zinc granules into it notice the bubbles of gas appearing in the flask now fit a balloon to the mouth of the conical flask as the gas coming out from the conical flask fills in the balloon the balloon inflates After yes. some time the balloon bulges out completely. Can you name the gas which is filled in the balloon? It is hydrogen gas. When zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid, zinc sulfate is formed and hydrogen gas is liberated. From this activity, we can conclude that the sulfuric acid reacts with metals that are above hydrogen in the activity series. to form metal sulfate and hydrogen i think xz 4.2 is not given 4.5 grammarly does more than catch errors with grammarly you can find really good no metals and non metals introduction elements are classified as metals and non metals metals are generally hard solids and have a luster most of the metals are malleable ductile and some of them are good conductors of heat calcium aluminum zinc copper mercury are examples of metals metals are helpful to us in many ways We use them in the construction of houses, 
automobiles, electrical appliances and also plays a key role in the transmission of electricity. Malleability Take a small iron nail, a coal piece, a piece of thick aluminium wire and a pencil lead. Beat the iron nail with a hammer. Try to hit hard. Hit hard the aluminium wire also. Then repeat the same kind of treatment on the coal piece and pencil lead. The shape of the iron nail and the aluminium wire changed on beating. If they were beaten harder, these could be changed into sheets. You might be familiar with silver foil used for decorating sweets. You must also be familiar with the aluminium foil used for wrapping food. The property of metals by which they can be beaten into thin sheets is called malleability. The property of metal by which it can be drawn into wires is called ductility. Material Properties Some materials are hard, lustrous, malleable, ductile, sonorous and good conductors of heat and electricity. The materials which generally possess these properties are called metals. The examples of metals are iron, copper, aluminium, calcium, magnesium, etc. In contrast, materials like coal and sulphur are soft and dull in appearance. They break down into a powdery mass on tapping with a hammer. They are not sonorous and are poor conductors of heat and electricity. These materials are called non-metals. प्रेक्टिकल यू ऑब्जर्व देट सोडियम रिएक्ट वेगरियसली विथ वोटर सम अदर मेटल डू नॉट डू सो एट सोडियम ने अँ नहीं राखी सकता कारण के इमीडिएटली बंद थे फॉर एक्जाम्पल आयन रिएक्ट विथ वोटर स्लोली धीमे धीमे एनु इम्पेक्ट आए काट लगे जनरली नॉन मेटल्स डू नॉट रिएक्ट विथ वोटर थ्रू दे दो दे मे बी अ वेरी इन रिएक्टिव इन वोटर इन एर गीव मी हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड सॉरी सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एंड जिंक ग्रेन्यूल मेटल and conical face cap je triangle shape wala black matter sulfuric acid triangle hai na bichu theek hai sulfuric acid zinc granule such non metals are stored in a water for example Phosphorus is very reactive non-metal. It catches fire if exposed to air. To prevent the contact of phosphorus with atmospheric oxygen, it is stored in a water. It lies in a water. My rakham aave. Aave phosphorus chen hai. Na bi interestingly three types chen. Yellow phosphorus, red phosphorus, and brown phosphorus. Let me show you. So th these are different types of phosphorus. Hello everyone. Today I want to tell you about such an element as phosphorus. Phosphorus is a typical non-metal element that is located in the 15th group of the periodic table of chemical elements. In nature, phosphorus is present in the composition of the minerals called apatites. Our body contains 1% of phosphorus by mass, mostly as a part of the bones. Pure phosphorus exists in four allotropic modifications. See, four types of phosphorus are there. Modifications. The most common or one of which is the modification of red phosphorus. The red phosphorus looks like a dark red powder. The red phosphorus too. right which readily absorbs moisture from the air over time the air ma the moisture absorb kari leje 
red phosphorus gets caked due to formation of polyphosphoric acids while being exposed to air. In everyday life, we can find phosphorus on the scratch surface of a match box. During the friction process of a match with the box, the potassium chloride contained in the mesh head oxidizes the phosphorus, releasing heat that ignites the composition of the match head. Red phosphorus burns well in air, and of course, Flesh. it burns even better in pure oxygen. In a flask filled with pure oxygen, the burning phosphorus emits huge amounts of light. This reaction can be used for lighting up a large space. The smoke produced in the bulb is nothing more but the phosphorus oxide, from which is possible to obtain calcium zinc phosphate, which is used for coating the insides of fluorescent lamps, as luminophore. In addition to the red form, which is more or less stable, by a process of sublimation, the red phosphorus can be converted into a very unstable form, the white phosphorus. White phosphorus has more interesting but dangerous properties. For example, it's extremely high toxicity. In air, white phosphorus actively oxidizes and releases smoke, forming the oxide of phosphorus, hence it's stored in water. In the dark, white phosphorus glows due to oxidation by oxygen in air, but the glowing is very weak. But you shouldn't think that everything that glows in the dark is phosphorus. No one is going to sell toys made of white phosphorus and cause the clock hands using it. If you are doubting this, look at what happens when the white phosphorus is put onto a warm surface. It immediately melts and ignites, burning with a very high temperature, more than 800 degrees Celsius. White phosphorus burns on any surface, igniting everything around it. That is why people started to use it to make incendiary ammunition shells, which later got banned by the Geneva Convention. White phosphorus is highly soluble in some nonpolar solvents, such as benzol and carbon disulfide. In carbon disulfide, the solubility of white phosphorus is the highest. If you immerse paper into such solution of phosphorus in carbon disulfide, you will see an interesting effect. Over time, the carbon disulfide evaporates, leaving a fine white phosphorus, which will then spontaneously ignite and burn the paper. According to some skeptical scientists, exactly this reaction is used as a demonstration of the phenomenon of virtual fire in Jerusalem. Also, the solution of white phosphorus in carbon disulfide was used for the self-igniting Molotov cocktail during World War II. These are two more forms this of phosphorus. This is black phosphorus. Form. Black and metallic phosphorus. Metallic However, phosphorus. Unfortunately, they are very difficult to find especially getting hands of them for conducting experiments. Nowadays, phosphorus is used in agriculture as a fertilizer for water softening. Yo, the fertilizer may be used, Taiji. Right? NPK. Yes, NPK. Very good. Very good. And for protection of metals from... N means nitrogen. P means phosphorus. K means potassium. potassium. Very good. Potassium. Also, phosphorus is part of the most dangerous toxic nerve gas on the planet, the usage of which is prohibited. Now you know a little bit more about one of the other metals. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon. Clear? Thank any language, Russian. He is speaking Russian, for, uh, Russian English. Russian so I am no English. Sir, what experiment are Yes, I am waiting for balloon to come. Let's read further. Now, reaction with acid. Let us how metal and non-metal behave with acids. Take samples of metal and non-metal listed in table. 4.5 in separate test tube and label them A, B, C, D, E, F. With the help of dropper 5 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid to each test tube one by one and observe the reactions carefully. If no reaction occur in the cold solution, warm the test tube gently, bring a burning matchstick near the mouth of the each test tube. Right? and check out.
डायरेक्ट ने चेक कर सकिए कि भाई क्यों गैस एनी अंदर प्रोड्यूस थे राइट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मेग्नेशियम छे अपनी पास एल्युमिनियम छे राइट आयन वी हैव राइट कॉपर वी हैव चारकोल एंड सल्फर पाउडर दैट वी डू नॉट हैव सल्फर वी हैव वी हैव डन ऑलरेडी एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ सल्फर राइट लेट्स सी दिस 4.6 वीडियो एंड देन वील डू This is very important video please focus here You will understand the whole concept that Why has this iron rod turned like this? It's rusted. Iron reacts with atmospheric oxygen and moisture to form iron oxide, which is commonly known as rust. Metals react with other elements in a variety of ways. Metals burn in the presence of oxygen to form metal oxides, which are basic in nature. For jo metal plus oxygen कम्बाइन थी जाए तो मेटल ऑक्साइड बने मेटल नेचर केव हो बेजिक हो सोडियम समझो सोडियम प्लस ऑक्सीजन राइट एनएच वोटर साथ रिएक कर एनएच बनी जाए बराबर सोडियम प्लस ऑक्सीजन ए एनएच फॉर्म थे एम एट बेजिक नेचर ना है सोडियम ऑक्साइड राइट सेम वे कोईपण मेटल्स है ऑक्सीजन साथ रिएक कर ऑक्साइड बनावे ऑक्साइड ने जय ते रिएक्ट करो वोटर साथ बदा बेज बनी जाए सीम वे नॉन मेटल ने ऑक्सिजन साथ कम्बाइन करो तो ये नॉन मेटल ऑक्साइड बने ये बदा एसिडिक नेचर न हो के नेचर न हो एसिड नेचर न हो बराबर हूँ एक्जाम्पल आपू फॉर एक्जाम्पल नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सिजन तो नाइट्रोजन डायक्साइड और एटमोस्फियर में एर साथ मिक्सअप थी जाए मॉइस्चर साथ पानी मिक्स करो ए तो ये नाइट्रिक एसिड थी जाए अपनी पास है राइट सेम वे सल्फर प्लस ऑक्सीजन तो सल्फर डायक्साइड तो एटमोस्फियर में जैसे मिक्स थी जाए आ वातावरण अंदर मॉइस्चर वारे हो भेज वारे होइस्चर एट भेज राइट तो मॉइस्चर वारे होनी मिक्स थी जाए तो सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड बनी जाए बराबर आ रो अपनी पास है जो लो बदा दिस इज सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड केन यू सीट एवरी वन ओके हाँ सेम वे क्लोरिन तो हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड मिक्स थी जाए तो राइट ओके 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 डन फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू बर्न अ स्ट्रिप ऑफ मैग्नीशियम मैग्नीशियम विल बर्न इन ऑक्सीजन to form magnesium oxide mm. magnesium oxide dissolves in water to form magnesium hydroxide which is basic in nature apne kare check karyo to shu karyo to last lecture ma magnesium ni strip ne burn kari thi salgai thi barabar ha sir ha ane salgai thi etle magnesium oxide baneo niche white color no powder hato khyal chhe ne ane paji me ema pani mix karyu four five drops paji ane check karyu litmus paper thi तो मैग्नेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड बनी गयो तो एसिड एने शू कर रेड ने ब्लू बनाई दीदो राइट रेड लिटमस पेपर ने ब्लू कर दीदो तो जो तो ना बताए ओके सिमिलरली व्हेन अ कॉपर वेसल इज एक्सपोज्ड टू मॉइस्ट एयर अ ग्रीन जो कॉपर नु वेसल होए ने एटमॉस्फेयर में खुल्लू मुको ने तो एना पर ग्रीन कलर नु रस्टिंग થઈ જાય એને કોપર ઓક્સાઇડ કહેવાય બરાબર એટલે એ પણ બેઝિક નેચર નો બની જાય हाँ दादा जो पॉलिश करे एम आखू पॉलिश करे ग्रीन ग्रीन कलर बो का नाखे सौ पहले दादा शू करे एना एसिड में बोले एट आ बो जो रस्टिंग हो निकली जाए पी ए मशीन पर घसे एट शाइन आई जाए एनी ख्याल आई गो क्लियर एवरी वन ओके नेक्स्ट ग्रीन कोटिंग फॉर्म्स ऑन इट सर्फेस द कोटिंग फॉर्म इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ कॉपर हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड 
copper cabinet. At last, I found them. What are these? Oh, I nails. These nails got rusted too. Yes, the nails have rusted because of the moisture present in the air. Metals react with water, but all metals do not show the same kind of reactivity. For example, sodium reacts vigorously with water and oxygen and produces so much heat that it catches fire. That's why sodium is stored in kerosene to prevent it from coming into contact with moisture and oxygen. Let's try an experiment. Take a trough. Fill half of it with water. Now carefully cut a small piece of sodium and dry it using a filter paper. Then wrap it in a small piece of cotton. Place the piece of sodium in the water trough. You will observe that sodium reacts vigorously with water, catches fire and moves about in the water making a hissing sound. So, now you understand how much heat is produced in the reaction. When you introduce a red litmus paper, it turns blue, indicating that the solution formed is basic in nature. Be careful, you should stay away from the water trough during the reaction. It gets very hot. What are you doing here, father? I am cleaning this tap with a lime peel. The tap is looking dull because of the deposits of calcium salts in water. Where it gone? Acid. Acids. Understood. Apresent bathroom and nala hoine? Badana. It dull body yo. Kem dull body jay. Water ma continuous calcium na uh, substance ave. It like jene apre khar kaiye. Normal language ma. Wherever white white thay jay. To any par limbu gasi diye. To limbu kyo hai acid. It like ene su kar jay. Neutralize kar remove kar jay. It like ha. It like chokho thay jay. Now like dam saaf thay jay. Right? React with salt. Ah, ah, experiment pati are, video pati yane, pati experiment kariye. Of metals. The citric acid of the lime juice reacted with the calcium salt on the tap, and now the tap is clean. Metals react with acids such as hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid to give out hydrogen gas. Let's take four different metals, magnesium, iron, aluminium and copper in four different test tubes A, B, C and D respectively. To these test tubes, we add 5 milliliters of dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid using a dropper. We can now heat the test tubes gently using a Bunsen burner. Hydrogen gas is liberated. But how do we know it's hydrogen? To test the gas, we introduce a burning splinter near the mouth of the test tube. The splinters put off with a pop. It shows that the gas is hydrogen. From this, we can conclude that metals react with dilute acids and liberate hydrogen gas. Do metals react with bases in the same way that they react with acids? Yes, the reactions are quite similar. Metals react with bases such as sodium hydroxide to produce hydrogen gas. Let's verify this with an experiment. Prepare a fresh solution of sodium hydroxide in a test tube by dissolving 3 or 4 ballots of it in 5 milliliter of water. Into this solution, drop a piece of aluminium foil. 
we now bring a burning splinter near the mouth of the test tube. The splinter is put off with the pop. This shows that hydrogen gas was produced. In death, the reactions of metals with acids and bases are quite similar. But, and you mentioned that some metals such as sodium react more vigorously than others. How do you know that? Let me show you an interesting experiment. Let's take five beakers A, B, C, D and E. Let's take copper sulfate in beaker A and B, drop some zinc granules in beaker A and iron filings in beaker B. Take zinc sulfate in beakers C and E, drop copper turnings in beaker C and iron filings in beaker E. In beaker D, take some ferrous sulfate solution with a few copper turnings. Now note that the blue color of the solution in beaker A has disappeared. This is because zinc replaces copper from copper sulfate. In beaker B, the solution turned green. This is because iron has replaced copper from the copper sulfate solution. There's no change in the other three beakers C, D and E. This brings us to the end of the detailed session on metals, their appearance, behavior and uses in our day-to-day -day life. When you make a bonfire, the wood burns to release smoke. Non-metals react with oxygen and form acidic or neutral oxides. For example, sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide which is acidic. Take a small amount of sulfur in a deflagrating spoon and heat it. As soon as the sulfur starts burning, introduce the spoon into a gas jar. Then cover the jar with a lid. To ensure that the produced sulfur dioxide gas does not escape, remove the spoon after some time. Add a small quantity of water into the gas jar and quickly replace the lid. Shake the gas jar well. Sulfurous acid is formed. Now introduce a blue litmus paper which turns red. The sulfurous acid turns the blue litmus to red. Observe the bonfire. Why? In this bonfire, there is a partial combustion. Carbon monoxide is produced. This is a neutral oxide. Nitric oxide is another example of a neutral oxide. We don't need the fire anymore. Let's put it out. The fire is gone but the unburned charcoal is left behind. That's true. Generally, non-metals do not react with water, though they may be very reactive in air. Such non-metals are stored in water. For example, phosphorus is a very reactive non-metal. It catches fire if exposed to air. To prevent the contact of phosphorus with atmospheric oxygen, it is stored in water. Yet, another important property of non-metals is that they do not react with acids. Let's look at this small experiment. Take sulfur powder in a test tube. Add 2 to 3 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid. There's no observable change. Unlike acids, bases do react with nonmetals. Reaction of nonmetals with bases is complex. For example, when chlorine reacts with a base like sodium hydroxide, it gives multiple products like sodium hypochloride, sodium chloride and water. It was very interesting to learn so much about non-metals. Now I will be able to identify the properties and uses of non-metals. Sir?
In this lab, we are reacting five different metals in a single replacement reaction with one molar hydrochloric acid. From left to right, the metals are aluminum, Hello. Yes, sir. Copper, iron. Now let's perform the experiment. Now this is your conical flask and this is sulfuric acid. I am adding few drops here in Sir, tomorrow pizza camera no mic. Chalu karo to ye dekha sir actor. Okay. Open this mic. Can't I pin up? Please bring me some water in a glass. Sir, your voice double double Ah, sir. Just a minute. Yes, Now we are adding some zinc granules to it. Okay. Now see, these are the zinc granules, right? Zinc metal. I am adding Sir, pulta bar lage. Yes, it will take a time.
Let me add some more. Just a minute. Take little time, we have to wait. See, it started. It's chemical reaction. Sir, balloon can't hold it. No, no. See, pullwa ma deje thoda thoda. You can feel air inside, right? It started. Sir, nothing. They cut the balloon. Are. Sir. Sir, you have to listen. 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 नामाजी हाँ एसिड से ओ एक सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड बाकी भी वस्तु तो हमारे त्याग में कोई खबर ना पड़े इसलिए पूछी हम्म हम्म अरे वही लक्ष्य चलाएं हाँ वंचायु इट विल टेक अ लिटिल टाइम विल कीप इट एस इट सर थाई जाए तो फोटो पानी मोकली दे जो यस योर विल डू दैट ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव फर्दर इट विल टेक अ टाइम As and when the reaction start doing, see, it is hot, quite hot. Warm.
it happens when uh, we do this with iron want to show yes sir okay uh, take out iron filling सर यस आंटी स्मॉल कंटेनर आवे ऊपर वा मोटे हां आवे डेफिनेटली we are trying with uh, one more thing also uh, take a tissue tissue patli wali आयरन ना क्यों? I'm adding. Just wait. let me have some uh, more one more balloon and balloon is on but हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड सॉरी सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इन टेस्ट यू एंड नाउ सर आयरन यस सर देखा तू नहीं तो मैं सुपर हो जाए ना I think sulfuric acid doesn't work. Ah, uh, you have to take some other acid. Sir, so you get problem, okay, ma? It is too hot. Too hot? Yes. Really? सर तो लागे तो थोड़ी थोड़ी है ना कैमरा पर करो न तो यस 
I think production of gas is a slow process. Yes. Sir, today then the photo padding mostly ready. Sure, we'll do that. I'm keeping these two samples. Sir, a bed to me, all all banana is big. That is it. So should I? That will do. Yes, sir. A bed to me, all all Balloon, balloon gas. Yes, it's produced. Now see inflating. Gas is coming out of it. Can you see it? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, and balloon is filling now. Sir, so do you see? But I don't know. Right? The whole yes, gas tube has yes. Gas upper have it. See? Yes, sir. Black black upper they go with it. This is hydrogen. Yes. Upper, upper, but the black color is used. Yes. 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 I think we have taken a, in a less quantity. If we take more quantity, it will inflate oh, properly. Okay. Yes, it will inflate properly. Clear? Ah, sir. Sir, pilam okay. yes, sir. Let's move forward. Drink, ma. It is still there. We are waiting. Keep it. Let's try. Let's try something else. Sir, may I check it? Yes. Iron, zinc, mix. See the balloon is filling after successfully experience. See, yes, sir, may bega for a pullet. It's happening. I need a knock at the reaction. Some of the reaction is a better. Sir, at the bow pull you. Yes, bow pull you. Can you get a bag? I get some of the years. 
सर पहली बार हम रियलिटी में दूसरी जगह एक्सपेरिमेंट डन परफेक्ट हाँ सर हाँ सर आ जाएगी ना यस सर ओके डांटी के तो बराबर में बिल्डिंग होता है दो डिग्री जोड़ लेंगे चलो जवा जाओ सर आदम थोड़ी बार अजूर आदम ये जी फुले चके नहीं बोलूँ पुटी के बेटा एक्चुअली मैं बाजू में जी पकड़ी रखी हुई है होल जवा तो ओके गुड एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड में सक्सेसफुल थे यस मुझे मन में आंख पूरी गई सच में चला नहीं था जानको मन में जो 